What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a cave. Now when we're drawing this cave, we're going to be drawing it at one point perspective. So what you'll need to do to draw in one point perspective is to draw a horizon line straight across the page like this. Okay, and now we're going to place a point anywhere on this line. So I'm going to place a point right about here because I want some space on the cave to be seen on this side while the main focus will be mainly over here. Now we're going to draw something like a diagonal line connecting to this point. It might just seem like a random line just being placed anywhere, but it'll serve a purpose later on in the video. So I'll show you guys what that does later. And we're also going to draw another one that's not as angled. Now just above this dot, we're going to draw an arc. So um, you can make the arc like this big. And it's okay if it's not perfect, it's a cave. So it's created by, you know, rocks, mountains, whatever. It's created by nature. It's not man-made, so it doesn't have to be a perfect arc unless you're making like a train tunnel where it has to be perfect. But in this case, we're drawing a cave, so we don't have to make it perfect, okay? And then we're going to make a series of arcs. And again, they don't have to match the same shape of this one, but it would look better if you did, but I'm personally not going to. And some of these arts will end up overlapping on the page and that's okay because this is a cave when we're drawing it in perspective so some parts of it will not be seen. And when we drew these arcs, we rested them on the horizon line here. So now we're going to extend those lines so it lies on this line that we drew earlier. Do the same on the other side and actually we can change that line a little bit so it looks better hmm. yeah that looks a little bit better and then we can fix these lines so that they look you know more like a cave and it looks more like a rainbow actually with all these arcs and if it does look like a rainbow then we're on the right track All right, and now I'm gonna switch the position of this horizon line because we don't need it anymore. We can make the surface of the cave down here now. Unless you wanna keep going and make this arc uh, smaller and you know, keep going inwards, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna waste time doing that. But what I can do now is I can draw like um, little circles on the path. It's gonna be like a little path here. It's like something like stones because or like the ground, so whatever you want to call it, that's what I'm going to draw. And then along the surface, you know, close to the ground, I'm, I don't like it looking like that, so a solution that I have to help cover that up would be to place some rocks here and there. So I'm just going to make like a, a semi-spherical shape for some rocks. And I'm not just going to make rocks throughout. I can also, you know, throw in some blades of grass, you know, here, maybe here, you know, throw some rocks here and there. And then now that's pretty much done, but this arc here I'm going to make dark. Because when I color the cave, I'm going to make it a gradient. So pretend as if we're looking into a cave and like this is the darkest part. So whatever color the cave is going to be, it can be brown, purple, gray, whatever. Whatever color that is, it'll be one smooth gradient towards black. But before I do that, I'm going to alter this shape a little bit because the walls of this cave, we can change to make it look like rocks or you can leave it just like this and include some stalactites and stalagmites, you know, up in the ceiling and at the bottom, wherever. So, but I'm going to change these into rock. And just like how I said the cave looks, it's not man-made. So, so you don't have to pressure yourself to get a specific shape going on. So like I got a rock pattern going on here and you know coming towards the ceiling. I'm just going to go crazy with it. And if you want, it's definitely an option. You can use your least dominant hand. Like right now I'm using my right hand to do it. You can also use your left hand or vice versa.
Okay, so now we got a good looking cave going on, but it's gonna look a lot better when I color it. But first, I'm gonna ink it. Okay, so that's a good looking cave and everything. I got all the textures of all the rocks and everything, you know, the pathway and all that stuff. But we're not done yet. So before I get so before I get to coloring this, I'm just gonna let you guys know, like I said, with the gradient and everything, let's pretend from our perspective there's a light source going on, and then this part of the cave will be the darkness. You know, when you're looking inside of a cave, there's gonna be darkness in there because you know there's no light at that part of the cave. We're not only gonna apply gradients to just the walls here, we're also gonna apply some to the pathway, which in my case I am gonna use some browns, but just a different brown. So just making sure you guys are aware of that. And if you are drawing a cave like this or following along for this video, then do keep in mind that there are going to be two sets of gradients going on if you do plan on using two different colors to color this entire drawing. But while I'm waiting for my inks to dry, what I am going to do is I'm going to color this specific area with the black. So that way I have something to work from. Because usually when I'm coloring with my, uh, with my markers, I go from light to dark. But to kind of help me, I might just go dark to light. But I guess you can do it either way. But now, let's get to it. I also did forget to mention that you will need some colored pencils to like add shades on each layer of the cave and I know it kind of doesn't make sense that I added highlights back here even though it's supposed to be dark but that's just my way of polishing the illustration so that you know it looks more authentic you know but aside from that that's how you draw a cave start to finish and all the colors that I use for this video will pop up somewhere on the screen if you want to do this for yourself but if you did like this video give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video. I pet my nigga like Pat and Kate.